Hey, what's up guys? Chip Walters here for another tutorial. Uh, you may, uh, this one's going to be about Unity and we're going to talk about image-based lighting. You may notice that I have upgraded to uh, the next level and my Unity interface now is darker. Uh, I'm doing that for two reasons. One is that there's some good uh, help files, uh, actually not help files, but, but uh, tutorial, animation, video tutorials when you do that. Uh, and the second reason is that I want to be able to do my own splash screen, screens and create my own ac icons for my apps. Um, one of the things that I may not have been cleared, uh, clear about in the past is the fact that I'm going through all of this because I'm trying to do more than just create games or do something different than just create games. Uh, I'm trying to create virtual environments that people can use to help them design in the real world. And uh, I'm working with some other designers to do this. So some of this is actually uh, part of the workflow for them to understand better how to do how, how to use the Vive and virtual reality uh, to walk around their models and, and, and uh, understand them better and communicate with others better. So let's get started. Um, so what we want to talk about today is image-based lighting. So what is image-based lighting? Image-based lighting is when you're using uh, uh, high definition uh, HDR maps, HDR lighting maps to light a scene as opposed to using typical directional light, spotlights, area lights, and point lights. So let's uh, try and uh, understand that maybe a little better. So I'm going to go open up. This is a Keyshot. Keyshot is a really great photographic renderer, really fast for building, for doing uh, renderings of uh, really high quality uh, products. And uh, it's what's called a progressive render, so that means it just kind of renders it. it, it uh, as you drag it around, it'll actually render in, so you'll see these shadows will start to disappear soon. So this is using this little map up here on the right. This is an HDR right, map. So let's look in these in these environments, right? So I'm going to drag another environment in here, and now you see that we've uh, dragged this environment in, and it's now changing the complete lighting of what we're, we're looking at, right? So if I do another one, same thing. So basically, we're using the environment, this actual environment which is right here we're using that to create light right so um let's talk about that a little bit more so uh these environments are pretty powerful so if i want to i can go and say uh, uh i'm gonna make a new hdri here and i'm gonna make it black so now i've got a black screen as you can see uh and then i'm gonna go to pin and i'm gonna say um i'm gonna actually add a, a, a set highlight so or I'll add, add a pin, and now you start to see, as we're, I'm going to make this a little smaller so we can do this. So you can start to see as I drag this pin around, it's actually like as if I'm dragging the light around. So I'm moving to the top, moving to the bottom, to the right, to the left. I can actually do things like create uh, more pins. Um, I can actually set a highlight by control clicking exactly where I want that highlight to be. So I'll come over here and say right there, I want to highlight there, I want to highlight up here, I want another one over here. So you can see starting to build that that uh, that space. I can take each one of these pins that I was doing that with and I can actually change them to be a larger or, or smaller radius, uh, different kind of fall off modes. Um, and so you can start to see that it's really a very powerful tool. And then I can save this out as an, and this is just, all this is doing is creating an image, right? So, um, so, uh, you may ask, you know, these, these are, kind of, uh, these are kind of different kinds of, of, uh, of studio, uh, basically studio lighting models, right? You're seeing, and, and you can also turn these off. So I'm going to turn like, this lighting environment. I'm going to turn it off and I'm just going to use a, a background color. So I'm still using that same lighting, uh, to do this. So. That's the first the first part of this tutorial is just trying to understand let you understand a little bit about what uh, image based lighting is. Now we want to be able to do the same kind of thing, but in real time, which is this is not real time. This is, takes a while to get it rendered. So you're watching it, and on bigger models it takes a lot longer. So we want to do this in real time uh, in Unity. So uh, uh, this is the end of the very first part of this. I'll I'll see you on the other side of the second part.